Hello everyone, welcome back to Shiny Bright Doggo. Today we're going thrifting, and this might be the last trip before we head out to Pennsylvania. So let's see what new Halloween is being put out at the thrift store. New old. New, hopefully vintage. This is a ceramic mold of a very hard to find blow mold hobbyist piece but these can still resell for decent money i don't know about this one in particular but it's only six dollars so i might put him in the cart and see what janine thinks about him it's cool okay things that are me said this is not you it's just reminds, like yours kind of reminds me yeah i like the strawberry <laughs> I really like this. It is so loud in here. It sounds like yeah, things are crashing off the shelves. But it's very crowded. That's cool. Goblin guides. Cool. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. This looks like it matches the other pot holder I found. It's a dollar ninety-nine, twenty-five percent off. So maybe I'll get that one to match the other one. That's cool. It must play music and move its mouth. Yeah. Nice. It's five dollars. That's not bad. No. It's cool. I wonder how much it resells for. Um, the figurine is really cool, but it weighs a lot. Shipping's gonna be a lot on this, and I don't, I don't think the return's gonna be that great with that shipping cost. So I'm gonna put him back. But he's still really cool. Um, and matches that bowl model. I'll show you guys a picture right here. That's cool. That is cool. What you got there though. Oh, I got these. It's a tin set. A tin set? Yes. Yeah, so. Oh, cute. Those are cool. Very um, 90s, 80s for sure. Really yeah, cute. It's really cute. It's a little dent here, but I think it's really cute. It is. And then this just like. Uh, I didn't realize it was missing a leg, but. Uh, yeah, I'll put this back. Cool. What'd you find? Also cool. Oh, that is cool. Little ghost like one sock. And then the one next to it is like a frog. A frog. Yeah, but so this is really cool. This is a jemmy. Oh, which? How but cool. Look at her nose. Oh, the nose is broken. Yeah. That's too bad. She would have been a really cool pickup. How much is she? $7.99. $8. Yellow, so 25% off of that. Yeah. Oh, that's too bad. She would have been a really cool find. This one's fun. Very 90s. Yeah. I'll show you that. $2.99. That's fun. I didn't, we didn't have these growing up. We didn't really use these. Did you have a lot of these? No. Huh. It's the Christmas. Um, I don't see anything on the shelves, but I might take a closer look at the actual bags of stuff. Guys, I think I found something really good. Janine's gonna be excited. Look what I found. Oh, wow. It was a lawn steak, or it actually might have no, went on a candy container. A, yeah, it was a uh, stick. Um, yeah. Or it might, it could even go on top of the blow mold. That holds uh, the, you know. So this is um, a pumpkin, obviously. It'll hold the bottom. It went on a long, skinny plastic tube filled with candy. This is from the 70s. I believe it's made by Bayshore. These don't any, these usually never have markings on them, but I believe the diamond eyes might be Bayshore. And for $2, it's a pretty good find like this i was actually gonna get it but the ear is broken it's too bad it's really too bad guys i think this is a good find right here i spotted it out of the corner of my eyes the gold sort of ticked me off this might be a whole tower let's see really nice actually beautiful design and it is it's a whole tower it's been a while since i found whole tower at the thrift store obvious by that whole tower mark right there this is a little snack dish. It's really nice. Got a little snack dish. Um, there is a version that is a lot more common, a lot more popular. This one is rarer with these ornaments on it and the star on top. I don't know why the camera's having such a hard time focusing, but actually this is really exciting. Um, it is $4. It's not on sale, but it's definitely worth the pickup. Um, wow, look at the detail on it. So mid-century. I love it. With a little stump too. I'll put a picture of the one that's more common. Um, right next to it right here with some comps um this one's just 
so different, so exciting. There's Janine, got to show her the whole tower pick off. You got another singamajig? With the tags. Yeah, he How has much new is batteries. He? He's a dollar ninety nine. Oh, thing, nice. So twenty, no, not twenty five percent off. Just dollar ninety nine, which is a good price. Yeah, it's not too bad. He needs batteries though. It sounds like he's burping. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, is that cool? Take a look. Take a look. That chip. Did you notice? Oh no, I didn't notice. That's too bad. I mean, it's not. It's not bad. It is. It's it's, and also the different one. You know yes. the other one? Yeah. Yeah, the other one's more common. Yep. It has a star. I might still get it. It's not a bad chip. It's not. I actually didn't it's even realize. It's not a bad chip. Yeah. So, um, I see surprising. Pumpkins. You see pumpkins? No. Back there. Out there in the back? All right, I'm going to go stake it out. Here, take the take the cart for me. I'm going to stand there. I'm going to look. No. Take the cart. Thank you. Okay. More common. Some more common. Commons, commons. These are all more common um, pumpkin pails. We don't pick up every single pumpkin, even though we always say no pumpkin left behind, but we have so many. So we're looking out for you guys in the pumpkin patrol to, you know, rescue pumpkins. They will definitely be rescued, rest assured, here at Unique. Um, we see pumpkins turn over like that, so we're not, um, they'll, get, they'll get home, so we're not too concerned. But um, I didn't get to check out the rest of the cards, so Janine's over there seeing. Um, what else might have been in that cart. Really cute vintage um, Disney mug for $2, made in Japan, so it's probably from like the 70s. Really cute. I've never seen this one before. It's actually not that bad of a price, but um, probably won't pick it up since we have the holidays coming up and we have so much holiday stuff to sell, but good find. Cool, isn't it? Yeah, it is interesting. Did you look it up? No. Made in China. 2004 disguise. Is it I don't know what, who made it. Hmm. It almost looks like the way that Easter Unlimited yeah, would write. Yeah, it almost does, yeah. But maybe there's a company called Disguise. We could try to look it up. That's a cool bowl. Look at this bowl. I think it's so, like, the edge and everything mm -hmm. is so cool. With the eyes. Yeah, but I don't think this goes. I'm like, eh, yeah. that doesn't quite go with it. But a little bit of a disconnect. I thought it was so cool. And it's cool. The yellow is 25% off, but I'm not going to get it, but... I've never seen this um, design before. Yeah, it's cool. Guys, I found a second one. Star missing, $2.99. Clean, 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 clean cut probably happened here, which is really too bad. <sighs> what can you do, I guess? Back on the shelf. Why are all the thingamajigs back there in $9.99? What'd you end up buying? Oh, wow. Those are cool. Aren't they? Halloween ones? Yeah. Wow. What'd you find? Well, I saw this and I was like, oh, that's sad and cute. And then I saw this no. above it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, they belong, don't they? Yeah, so it like really hurts oh, me that they're man. not together. Um, and like also if you got one, you had to get all of them. Yeah. Oh, I like the little ones. I know, I know. Oh. Just take it out of my hands. I can't be, I can't be in charge of what Wait, but Janine, I have the card. Is this uh, George? Looks like him. Janine. Look how cute they are. Oh, look, it holds them, Janine. Yeah, I know, it belongs to that one. Oh no! This is what? a Dakin, nineteen seventy-eight. Wow! I think it's cool. probably Curious George. Looks like right? him. It's Maybe brother. something else. I don't know. Wait! I know it's painful. I don't. Oh no! Jean. Four, six. That's why I had to hand it over to you. Oh, look at this. Old mini. Yeah, this actually came from an antique mall. Oh, that might explain why there's some older stuff here. Probably. Oh no! <laughs> I know. Oh no! Oh, that just okay. looks sad. It's like reaching. I can't. I, I can't. Janine said there are a bunch more singamajigs up behind the counter for ten dollars. This is crazy. Oh look, an ugly doll. Oh, dollar ninety nine. That's an older one too, right? looks it. 
she's reading the tag. 2011. 2011. Okay, not the OG, but pretty, you know, not the newest. Yeah, it's before the movies. This guy's Lisa Frank Window Wonders. This looks original. This looks we old. Find, I knew we were going to find a Lisa Frank thing. I knew we were going to find a Lisa Frank thing. Why? Because we found a Lisa Frank plush last time. And I just had this feeling. And I was like, I'm not going to say anything to Laura. I wonder if it's in there. Yep, it's complete. It looks like the metal things are in there too. Yeah. I mean, maybe one was used. I don't know, but it's definitely, it's still in there. It's still usable. So. How cool is that? That's awesome. Wow. Even it's like, even the plastic things in there, which is cool too. Yeah. So before we came in here, I wasn't thinking like something like that. I was thinking we're going to find Lisa Frank stickers. Oh. So now I'm still like, I have hope that this Frank, Lisa there Frank might stickers be more. And I'm like super buzzing right now. So here is the board games and puzzles section. Do you call puzzles board games? Are they like, would they be in the, the board game genre? That's something that I don't know. Whoa, Dr. Dreadful alien autopsy. What? That's really cool. Let's take a closer look at that. Is that ne it's a Neopets game. <laughs> we'll talk about these guys in a second. Just look what's in here. <gasps> Janine is a Diva Stars <gasps> with her outfits. Janine? Look, 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 look. It it's a Diva Stars with her outfit. Oh, wow. <gasps> I had the blonde one. I loved her. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is so exciting. That's 25% off. <gasps> what does that mean? It's only $6. Wow, I gotta look it up. What is that? I don't know. I, I saw it. I thought it was really cool. I don't know what it's from. Dr. Dreadful? 2015. That's cool. That is really cool. That is cool. How much is it? Um, $6. Too bad the box is so beat up. I, yeah, I also can't figure out like if there's everything in there, but it's, it's also not, like food. Yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah, it's really sort of gross. <laughs> sort of gross. But, um, got there for a second and then I found a bunch of stickers that I want to kind of peek Look through. through. It looks like a lot of like, um, teacher stickers you know i'm sort of torn about this whole tower dish because it's chipped i might put it back because those bunnies are in there too oh, no. yeah i don't know the bunny issue i might have to pass four dollars it would be for resale um i have so many ceramics i really can't pick up a dish like this um it'd be for resale and i don't know how i feel about reselling something with a chip like that so i'm gonna think about it a little bit more but i might be putting it back there's only like diva dolls or diva stars or rather don't really sell for a ton i was really surprised um this would be something that i'd be keeping for myself and i don't think i'm going to do that the whole set is basically here i probably could flip her for 25 to 30 dollars but she's eight dollars so i think i'm gonna put her back she means running away from me um janine i don't think i'm gonna get the lisa frank I have I have like seven things sitting on eBay, um, so I will uh, relinquish this find over to you if you'd like to buy it. Really? I can't. Yeah. We have a lot, right? Um, I have. Well, you know why I'm not because I'm not. It's not the Lisa Frank that I want to keep. Got it. Um, yeah. But good find. It sells. For sure that probably could be flipped for around 35 ish dollars so keep your eyes out for anything lisa frank from the 90s um this guy i might put back but i want to talk a bit about these guys for a second these are clearly reproductions of vintage santas you could tell mainly oh by the pipe cleaners used um they're bright red they are a little too like perfect and they don't quite have the organic i'd say lines maybe of bum chenille from the 50s and 60s also this like multicolor tree you wouldn't see 
um, and the faces are all a little too perfect. So I'd say for those reasons, it's pretty obvious that these are reproductions made in China. Still really cute. Great to decorate with, but not the vintage thing if that's what you're after. Yeah, great, I know it is great. It's really great for somebody who wants to decorate with them. Um, the bunnies, I don't know why they're in the cart. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say for that, but that's basically where we're at right now. Pretty good cart. Janine found. I see him. Birdie. Little bird ornament in there. Really delicate. Yeah. Surprised he's okay in there. Um, vintage. Most likely made in Germany or Japan. I think it's, yeah, I think it's a real one. Good find. Wow. Hopefully he survives in there. Yeah. Good luck, little bird. <laughs> All right, guys, hopping into today's haul, I was very proud of myself. I had a lot in the cart. That whole tower uh, dish set was a great pickup, but I did decide to leave it behind because of that chip. Um, had I picked it up, I would have resold it um, because I have so many ceramics. Janine won't let me take any more for the collection. <laughs> That's not true. That's not true. <laughs> and because I would have resold it, um, I didn't want to resell it with the chip. So I left it behind for somebody who's a collector and can keep it and make that decision on their own mm -hmm. rather than me reselling it. Um, but I did find this, which was really exciting. That, yes. <laughs> hey, tell us what that is. Yeah. So this um, was, I believe, 99 cents or maybe $2.00. And this is a vintage jack-o'-lantern. When you're looking out for jack-o'-lanterns or pails, these diamond eyes mm -hmm. are um, only on pails from, I'd say, the 70s. Mm -hmm. Don't quote me, but maybe a Bayshore pail. Mm. Anyway, I picked it up, and it's in great condition. Like, the orange is great. The face is a little faded, but hard to say if... It might have been like that. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Flipped it over and saw this little hole and immediately knew that it belonged to a long mm -hmm. uh, plastic stick that was filled with candy back in the day. Maybe some of you remember that. Um, we actually found one of those yes. at that estate sale where we were crawling in the crawl space. Yes. Janine, you found it in the yes. crawl space of that basement with the original yep. stick attached. Mm -hmm. um, but did that one have a curved top? No, I don't think so. Okay, so they all have this flat top, I suppose. And this is in great condition, um, can be sat down just like that, can be attached to something, and I will most likely resell this since we have a lot. Um, but this was a great find. Mm -hmm. Diamond eyes, you know it's old. Yeah, and you know what you can do with that too, is you can just put like a dowel on the bottom. Yeah, and, definitely. you know, create something with it. So totally. really cool. The only other thing I did pick up was this pot holder because I did think it matched the other one I got. A week or so ago. That's so fun. How cute. I have to get the other one and see how they look together. But if my visual memory serves me correctly, they will look really cute together. And I'll most likely resell these too. They're from, what, the 80s? Early 90s? 90s, yeah. Yeah, really I cute. I love that bat. It's so cute. I know, and I love the back too. Mm -hmm. How fun. So I had to uh, buy these immediately when I saw them because uh, they're behind the counter and you have to buy them immediately when <laughs> you... <laughs> when you find them you can't carry them around the store but so i when i bought them laura didn't know i had to call her and tell her that i bought something and i had to run to the car and then come back this was well worth it um because i found him at first Cute. and obviously so cool i think this will look fantastic um for a 90s halloween display i'm gonna put him in it and then I got these two for our whatnot sale. I thought these are so fun. These will look great in a Halloween display and collection. And so these will be available for the um, Halloween whatnot sale. So I don't know why they had all the other Singamajigs behind the counter listed for $10 each. And then this one was in the toys for $1.99. Sure. I think it goes to show it really depends on who is um, uh, tagging the items maybe in the back. Not, not quite sure. But this is a Sigma jig, and they can sell for like fifteen, twenty-five dollars. Um, I think there are some that go for more, like thirty bucks. So I had to pick this up. So cute. Um, it does sound like it needs. Oh, well, it does need new batteries. So I'll put new batteries in him, and I'll put them on eBay with my other one that I have to sell. So I think this was a pretty cool Halloween find. These are like uh, path lights. Path. They have a name. What are these um, called? I, I figure what they're called. There's a specific name. Halloween for these. path lights. Yeah, but there's a name. Luminary. That's what they are. <laughs> okay. Um. So I found these, and this has a year on it, I believe, right? Yes, 1990, right on the front. Cool. 
So I thought that was really cool. I really like the picture up here. I think it's fun, vintage feeling. And I'll probably put these on the whatnot sale. They're really cool. They're fun to display if you want to keep yeah. them in the thing or you could even use them. Yeah. Guys, for joining us, if you're watching this, we're in Pennsylvania right now. Oh. <gasps> Which means we're gonna have, hopefully, fingers crossed, please cross your fingers for us that we find some great stuff out in Pennsylvania. I'm sure we will. Thanks for joining us, guys. See you next time. Bye! Bye.